Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Boone's Overstock Update. All this stuff can be purchased from boonesoverstock.com. We have brand new releases that we just recently got in and I wanted to introduce you to some of them. If you haven't had a chance to see them, here is the Paramecium Exhumed of the Earth. I'm really proud of this. This is a fantastic album. <clears throat> it's an absolute classic in every way. Uh, we actually worked for years and years to develop a relationship with the band and get their trust so that we could put this stuff out on vinyl for the very first time. If you get the splatter vinyl, you actually get a hype sticker with it. I'm terrible at being able to keep track of which ones have a uh, different color of vinyl. So uh, we just had the hype sticker put on only the ones with splatter vinyl. And so if you get one of the black ones, uh, the black vinyls, it just doesn't have a hype sticker on it. That's how I know that it's a black copy. This is an open copy. It is our very first gatefold. Gatefolds are super expensive. But uh, considering how epic this release is and how special it is, we went ahead and, and did it on a gatefold. It has a tremendous write-up from Andrew Tompkins. Uh, it's a brilliant write-up. I love it so much. It tells you all about the release, some really cool stuff. Here is disc one, which I'm super happy with that. I don't think you can see how great it is. I can't tell from the video or not, but it's, a, it's like a neon, almost a snot green. Uh, with with the uh, or yellow, it's not yellow almost, and um, and then the splatter, the green splatter. It, it's really happy. It does have the black polyline, uh, polyline uh, inner sleeves, and then let's see this too. I'll probably listen to this album like a hundred times in the last month between the gold disc and the vinyl. But I, love, I, might, I maybe like this one even more. The green with the uh, neon yellow splatter. It's fantastic. Double album. There's a gold disc edition to go with it, which I don't have with me. But uh, I'm really happy about those. The second vinyl is Guardian's Miracle Mile. Uh... This one actually came, it doesn't come factory sealed. It comes in a poly bag, and you do get a hype sticker on that as well. But we didn't actually have these shrink wrapped because we were afraid that if we put the seven inch that comes with it, see, there was an extra seven inch that comes with it. It's black, but we were afraid if we put them all in together inside the regular jacket. We were afraid that it would actually, there we go, maybe maybe damage the product in some way. So we elected not to do that. The seven inches because we couldn't get all the music on the regular 12 inch. And so the very last song, Do You Know What Love Is, is on a 45. And because we had room for one more song, we actually chose Sister Wisdom, which is a live track off of the delicious bite-sized pieces. Uh, bootleg CD that came out years and years ago, and that's never been on vinyl. So it's pretty cool that this with this vinyl, you get an exclusive track. Uh, all of them on vinyl for the very first time. Uh, I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, Scott Waters from No Life Till Metal did all these graphics. Great job. Fantastic job on Guardian's Miracle Mile. And... It also has a printed inner sleeve that houses a splatter vinyl. So really happy with how the splatter vinyl came out. Multicolor. I think it looks phenomenal. You get all the lyrics. You get a bunch of band photo collage. Um, really, really happy. And it sounds amazing and like just stunning. It, it just, I couldn't be happier with how warm and how big it sounds on vinyl. And actually the same can be said of Paramecium Exhumed of the Earth as well. 
That one's just phenomenal. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to share with you about the Paramecium. And uh, I haven't really talked a lot about this, but if you have the original release, doesn't that picture look just like the original release? Well, because we didn't have uh, large copies of it, uh, Jason Sherlock, um, the drummer, was super... Uh, he's 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 a super good photographer, professional photographer and graphic designer himself, and he literally went back to the same graveyard and took a picture of the same tomb, and so that's actually an updated 2020 picture, not the same picture that was on the original release. It's the same. I mean, it is the same picture, but it's actually a different picture. And uh, because of what Jason Sherlock did. So thanks to Jason for going above and beyond the call of duty and helping us out on that. All right. I do have some uh, CDs that I wanted to share. Uh, the first would be uh, we've got a trio of Baron Cross reissues. Um, there's Hotter Than Hell Live, State of Control, and... Atomic Arena. So all of them are part of our Legends Remastered series. And so they have write-ups on the back, 16-page inserts. Um, the CD faces are phenomenal. Full color. And then underneath, underneath we've got band picture. Look at these. 16-page inserts. We, we usually do at least 12 if we can. Um, if we have enough material, but these are just chock full. I mean, I don't know if you remember the original Enigma releases. There just wasn't much to them. So here we have uh, all the lyrics. We have extra band picks. Look at that photo collage. I mean, these these are everything that you want as a collector. The sound is amazing. Like I a b the sound on these remasters. They're phenomenal phenomenal like all of them every single one of them like if you a b the original release these just sound richer fuller uh uncompressed alive these these remasters sound more alive than ever before so here's the state of control the back i love that light blue the different colors i, I even I even love how the spine came out on this one i think it looks Color. There's the CD face. A little better. There's under the CD. Um, can you imagine if the original releases would have had all these photo collages? And I know Scott Waters actually bought like this off of eBay just so he could get get pictures in here. These are these are period pictures that are accurate and just so good. Another photo collage, 16 pages of magical goodness. I actually really like Hotter Than Hell. Um, if you're not a live album fan, uh, you should make an exception on this one. It's that good. Um, on top of that, if you're a Baron Cross fan, it has two exclusive tracks that you can't find anywhere else. Um, the first one is track seven, which is called Opus to the Third Heaven. To be perfectly honest with you, it doesn't sound like a traditional Baron Cross song. So they really expand their musical horizons. It sounds more like actually a, a, a really heavy Prince song or something. Like it doesn't sound alternative. It just doesn't sound metal. It's, it's just ripping, thick, progressive guitar sounds that are just like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really good, really good, full guitar sound. Um, and the the next one is King Jesus and Blues Jam, which is just a really good bluesy romp, a really fun song. Uh, the remaster is great on that. Give it a shot. All those are at boonsoverstock.com. Um, we also have a couple from Girder uh, Music. Murdermusic.com. Uh, you can get these at boonsoverstock.com, but they are also 
at um, murdermusic.com. These and they might be at rocksrecords.com uh, or rocksmusic.com. Uh, Rocks Records will stock these as well. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but these are phenomenal releases by Mastodon, featuring John and Dino Elefante from. Oh well, John was from Kansas, but they ran Pachyderm Records, Pachyderm Studios. They produced a ton of albums. Isn't this? Look at how great that is. It's just such a great. <coughs> and maybe the most impressive thing about the disc is actually the CD face. Let's see if you can play. I don't know if you can see how amazing that looks, but it looks one of the best gold discs I've ever seen in my life. It's fantastic. Uh, as you can see, uh, the flip side has the gold disc, or I mean the uh, non-gold disc border. So, you know, however you like it. I, I like the gold disc border, but I also like the original artwork. I love the backs on these. This is so good. Once again, that one has just a phenomenal disc face on it. So Greg and Scott worked together to make sure that that happened, and it just looks phenomenal. Great job. These these really sound good. Um, if you have the Frontiers uh, Records reissue from 2009, just know that Rob Caldwell's remaster of this album is second. It blows away the original remaster. This one's never been actually uh, reissued, and uh, it was actually remastered by John Fonte himself. Uh, back to Guardian. Here's the gold disc edition of Miracle Mile. 12-page uh, inserts. You can see the, uh, the gold disc. Gold disc is there to prevent disc rot. Once again, you've got the flip side, so if you just want to Turn that around, or you can just keep it with the gold disc border as well. I love it. It's really elite. Fantastic. Um, my case, but I'm really excited about these same reissues. This is Too Late for Living, uh, the 1988 album. Originally, we put these out in 2009 as digipacks. Uh, but I was really glad to be able to work with the band again to put these out, not as digipacks, but as jewel case release releases. I know that they've been re reissued several times um, by the band, by us. Um, Times End was done by M8, which was awful. Uh, but uh, but I know this is the absolute ultimate reissue. This is the definitive reissue. Rob Caldwell mastered it, remastered it from scratch. So we actually have phenomenal, I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, the 2009 remaster that Cliffy did was phenomenal. But this is an all new fresh remaster from 2020. It just sounds stunning. 12 pages, uh, a special write-up by band leader Richard Lynch. Uh, which is really good. He actually had write ups in both Times End and Too Late for a Living. Look how cool these picks are. I mean, that photo, I just love the photo collages that Scott does. All the lyrics in there, the write up. This is the look, the sound, and the gold disc protects from disc rot. And um, if you've ever had Believer's Extraction from Locality, Baron Cross Rock for the King, Guardian's First Watch, Garmon Keys double album. Those are all ones that had a tendency to suffer from disc rot. <clears throat> and it's bummer to go grab your CD and then you can look right through it. Oh, there's my phone. Didn't they know I was doing a video? I know, I should turn my phone off. Sorry for the interruption. Um, here we go with St. Times End, 1986. I don't know about you, but I can remember with <clears throat> without any problems when I bought this cassette from Julie Light's Christian Bookstore in Burlington, Iowa. Oh, yeah. I had her special order from the Microfitch. Am I bringing any bells? Am I bringing back good memories of people that knew, know what a Microfitch is and yet you ordered Christian music? Because 
all they uh, stocked was B.J. Thomas and Amy Grant. And I was the metalhead kid that came in there at 16 years old. I'm like, I need you to special order Saint Time's End. And so she did. And um, I remember coming home, putting it in my Walkman, laying on my beds with my headphones. And I couldn't believe how amazing the sound was. Uh, there's a, this, this album, oh man, I couldn't believe how heavy and nasty and dirty those guitar tones were. They had John Mahan on this release. Um, Steve Harrington, hold on a second. I'm gonna actually turn my phone off. <clears throat> So anyway, I remember uh, on this one, John Mahan's the guitarist. It's more of a Sabbathy, but like, like totally nasty, dirty, mean guitars on this one. This one has like the Ingve Malmsteen Maish guitar maestro, where it's like all over the place, <clears throat> solos everywhere, all over the place. It's amazing. So. Uh, these are really special. Um, <clears throat> this one also is the gold disc, although you can just flip it over. It's got the 16 page insert as well, plus lyrics. It's just really special. Um, sounds so good. Like these are the definitive Saint releases. If you have all the others, if you have one of the others and you don't have these, support the band. Support the label and get these. They have never sounded or looked better. These are special. The last one. Grave Robber. It's called Inner Sanctum. Maybe you've never heard them. Um, apparently the disc is in my Jeep. But 12-page um, uh, insert. We actually put this out in 2009. Um, <clears throat> they wear masks. They look like Slipknot almost, but they wear zombie costumes and they have zombie names. This is horror punk of the highest order. <clears throat> they, honestly, they sound a lot like the Misfits. They have lots of woes and stuff. If you like Nobody Special, if you like um, The Crucified, you will like this band. They are horror punk. But they have a lot of elements in metal, of metal on it. Um, that's why you got skulls and stuff like that. And it's just phenomenal. This is the very first one to have the lyrics. When we put out the 2009, we actually had uh, it in a Digi Hub, which a Digi Packs and Digi Hubs were cool for like four seconds. And that was the period that we started out doing a bunch of those. But it didn't ever have the lyrics. And I don't like the Digi Hubs. They're so flimsy. And so I, when I had the chance to get the band, talk with the band, and we decided to go ahead and put out a reissue in a jewel case with lyrics. And this is not a small thing. Uh, Sean Browning, the lead singer, Richard, Richard is his, is his stage name. Uh, he actually did a two panel write up about the band and the experience. It's really, really good. This is one of my favorite albums. I love this horror punk sound. It's very much like the Misfits. It's very hooky. It's very heavy. They do a Black Sabbath cover, uh, Children of the Grave. And uh, man, if you listen to songs like Detonation AD, Valley of Dry Bones, The Night Has Eyes, this is a punk band that definitely has heavy metal roots stuck in deep. So... This is a really, really good album, but man, it's infectious. Like you'll be singing this song, instantly recognizable, great stuff. And you can get this at boonsoverstock.com. Came out on Retroactive Records. Um, all those were on Retroactive Records, except for Paramecium was on Bombworks and the Mastodon are on Guru Records. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, you can get all that stuff at Girder. You can get all, well, most of it, all of it, almost everything. And uh, and then you can get everything at boonsoverstock.com. So thanks for your support. I, I want to tell you, your willingness to purchase 
to share stuff on Facebook, and to support this great scene allows us a chance to keep putting out great music on Girder, Rocks, and Booms. Thank you. Stay safe and uh, go get some great music.